meet his mom and wow guys it turns sour real quick we get to his place and so the mom just was so confused like what's going on weren't you in a relationship like a month ago so what do you mean you are now getting married to somebody different the mom knew his ex-girlfriend and so it was a very slippery slope you know what i mean and the mom was just like, no, how are you married to a girl you have just known literally about a month ago and you were with your girlfriend for over three years and you didn't even marry her? Were you cheating on your girlfriend? And oh, I love that woman so much. She was so upset and heartbroken. Like, well, were you cheating on that girl all along? Because that's not how I raised you, you know, type of thing. So yeah, it was really a sad situation for me because yeah they had to explain to her first that no it wasn't like that we just met literally a month ago and so we're getting married but i was not cheating on anybody so this is me in the car he went in and the siblings are all there and it's like a young family meeting because they're discussing all of this and then he quickly gets back in the car and he's like okay listen my mom doesn't want to meet you yet we're still trying to talk to her to convince her to understand that the situation isn't what she thinks it is and i just started crying you guys i burst into tears because i felt like wow this woman doesn't want to accept me as her future daughter-in-law and i really want to be a part of the family <laughs> guys i know this is sounding so crazy because this is literally <laughs> within a month and so yeah, this is me bursting into tears and I'm like, okay, I really feel like she doesn't want to accept me. And it was such a painful situation, but eventually she quickly came around. Literally after a couple of minutes or maybe an hour, my man gets me in the car and he's like, you can come in now. <laughs> She's ready to meet you. Boy, was I nervous. Can you imagine? Literally about an hour ago, they were telling me that this woman does not want to see you. Like she does not want to meet you. She's so upset about the idea of myself and my fiance getting married. So I'm just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be intense. But yeah, eventually I met all of them. Very beautiful family. And I was just so glad. I was also very nervous about meeting his older sister because I was just like, you know what? Guys are chilled, you know, when it comes to guys and girls dynamic. It's way more chilled to meet a guy than it is if you're meeting your sister-in-law i feel like i don't know i've always felt like that was the case in most in-law dynamics <laughs> anyway the sister turned out to actually be extremely friendly and she welcomed me with open arms and i remember the last thing she said to me after the meeting was please don't pull things off and break our hearts again now we have to get used to the idea of you bringing somebody else home it was my turn to introduce him to my father because my mom and dad are no longer together so i kind of had to deliver the news separately and it quickly turned ugly very quickly um it got to a point where my dad really was like what the hell and like why the heck am i trying to tie myself down into such a huge commitment it was actually so sad that he had such a negative perspective on marriage well on the other hand my mom was just my support system my mom was just with me the entire time and was just supporting me and was just you know letting me know that it's going to be okay and basically just taking the fall for everything and just leading the way into trying to convince my dad to allow me to allow me happiness really because my fiance you guys really brings such a joy into my life that i at times can't put into words you know it's just with the things that he does that i just feel like what such people really truly exist i was like you know what it's just not gonna happen like i am i'm gonna do this with or without my dad's approval you know at some point while well, my mom was trying to convince him to accept the marriage proposal and you know my mom was like don't worry i mean this is such a good guy my dad was like listen here yeah, i don't care if he's Mutsipe's son 
How freaking spiteful. Oh my gosh, that was such a jab. And the one at that. But at some point, he kind of was not speaking to me. And, but like, I went ahead and I spoke to him and pretended like nothing was happening. And he was just like, you know what? We're gonna pretend like, because my dad is a very non confrontational person. So we kind of just never ever spoke about it ever again. <laughs> and just went on with our lives as though nothing of the sort ever happened but yeah it was quite a difficult time of myself and my fiance's engagement what hurt me the most was that both his parents accepted me with open arms his dad was really excited his mom came around and here are my parents my mom was chilled but my dad was just being such a hard nut to crack ah you know guys because the thing is about marriage thing that n nobody ever tells you is that when you get married it's not just you and your partner it's you your entire family your partner and his entire family all coming together so your relationship does not only consist of just the two of you guys anymore it now involves everybody else and that's just what makes it so hard because i had to experience that firsthand the reason why i really wanted to get married to this man was the fact that we were both so compatible on so many levels you guys when i said we jammed like the sun in the sky i meant we really just got each other's vibes so well at some point it still happens today it's the creepiest thing ever I'll think of something, maybe we'll be watching something and I'll think of something and then he says it. We are so in sync, you guys. It's crazy. And that's why I really believe that he really might be my soulmate because the synchronicities were just insane. It, they still are. That's why I really believe that we are soulmates in that regard. On top of that, he is extremely sweet and kind. Like he can take my nonsense. He's the one person that I can fully be myself with. I don't have to be a people's pleaser when I'm around him. I can just be my complete self without fear of judgment. And another thing, he also knows things that a lot of people don't know, including my family things I can only tell to him because I know that he's the one person that just would never judge me, who's just always there to pick me up. At some point, I felt like I was put at, in such a pedestal in my family and you know, I would always put so much pressure on myself to just always try and impress my mom and the rest of my family. But with him, I can just chill. I don't need to impress him. I don't need to put on a front and be this person. I can just be myself. I completely let my guard down when I'm with him. And it's just the most amazing feeling ever. Just feeling like you can be your complete self without fear of judgment. One other thing that I really was certain that this was the man I was supposed to spend the rest of my life with was also the fact that in as much as we have so many things in common and we're extremely compatible and all of that, we also have those slight differences. Like for instance, he is a very content person. He's self-content. He never pressures himself to try and impress the next person. He's content with what he has now, what he has achieved, and he's completely content with that. He puts zero pressure on himself. And that's one of the qualities I envy in other people because I don't have that. With me, I am never satisfied regardless of anything I achieve. I've never been so fulfilled with anything. I have won pageants that I really wanted to win. And after winning, I'd be like, okay, now what? You know what I mean? So many events in my life that I would just not celebrate as much as they deserved to be celebrated because I was just like, okay, I won this, now what? Okay, I collected this award, now what? What's the big deal? I've just never been so fulfilled with anything I achieved. And another thing, 
I always put a lot of pressure on myself. You guys, like, I always just want to push and get this done and get that done and just do all of these things. Whilst with him, he's just like, no, take it one step at a time. Like, relax. As long as you're happy, you know, your happiness comes first. He's like happiness orientated and I'm money orientated. He's always like, no, I'm not fulfilled by money. I'm not motivated by money. I do what I love because I love it, not because of money. And it just fascinates me. Like there's just so many things that fascinate me about him because I know that I could never be those things. So it, it's kind of like such a perfect balance. God, I feel like I'm just going on and on. But I'm just trying to give you a clear picture of what it looks like to feel like you have met the love of your life, your soulmate, you know? It's beautiful. I feel so blessed and so lucky every single time I just look at him. And I, I can't wait for you guys to meet him. Now, the question we get the most is why the rush and why so young? And you know, a lot of people are like, you guys have your whole life to live and you haven't, you know, achieved everything that you wanted to achieve. Because one of my dad's biggest concern was like, no, Zandi is supposed to be graduating and enjoying her money before rushing into marriage. You know what I mean? But my ideology is that not everything is supposed to play out as society says it should play out. It's not always that you have to leave school, get a degree, get a job, get your own place and then marriage and then kids. A lot of questions that we get is why did we rush into getting married? At some point, his cousin was like, do you even know her favorite color? How do you know you like how she eats? <laughs> and all of that jazz. And in my head, I'm thinking, if you love that person, whether you know the favorite color or not, you will learn along the way. Whether you like how they eat or not, you will learn to accept it and love them as they come with flaws and all. And so we've learned so much about each other because uh, we've been married for quite a while now, for way longer than we dated, way, way, way longer. And it's fantastic, you know, it still feels like the day I agreed to marry him, it still feels just as great. And the reason why we decided that we we're gonna get married so young, we actually had this talk, cause I was 21, he was 28. So yeah, we we're both in our 20s. But um, we had this talk and we were like, where the world is headed, where it's so difficult to find genuine love now. And we found each other right now. Let's just keep it. Let's hold on to that. Let's seal the deal and commit for life. And every day we wake up, we choose to love each other. We realize that even if we come across adversities, we have to work through them because divorce is not an option. I know that things happen and we have also spoken about that, but we don't want to keep that in our mind. We don't want that to kind of be the center of our marriage, you know, thinking, oh, we might divorce someday. We definitely don't even think about that. We just are trying to keep a very positive attitude. We don't even mention the D word. <laughs> Kidding, we do. But we speak about how divorce is not even an option. Both our parents have been divorced and we don't want that for our kids. I feel like we, we got this. We got this. Regardless of the critics that we've gotten, we always say we know what we're doing. I sometimes will come back to him and cry to him and be like, I just got into this dispute and people are judging me. People are saying, what if I'm not making the right decision? And he's like, listen here, I love you. And those people just don't know me. They're just comparing me to generic guys out there. They just generalizing what things could be because of what they already used to, but they have not met me yet. You know and it's reassuring every time so now the whole thing of this is that at the end of the day you guys there's no rule book or manual to relationships or life in general you just need to go for whatever it is that your mind is prepared to if you want to take on something 
and you feel like you are ready to take on that, why the hell not? I think that it's okay to take advice with a grain of salt, take suggestions and all of that, but always remember that your decision is always the ultimate and final decision and that there's absolutely nothing wrong if you decide something completely different from what everybody else is expecting you to decide. You live, you learn, happiness is key, that's what life is. So you guys, that concludes the story of today. This was very, very personal. I know I'm gonna be battling myself if I'm gonna actually agree to upload this video or not. But yeah, no judgments here. Just leave down a comment and share your own personal stories and tell me what your view on marriage is. There really is no wrong or right answer to this, honestly speaking. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this wasn't long and dreadful. But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to leave me a like. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscription button as well as that notification bell below so that you're notified every single time I drop a new video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye.